What's up folks, I'm Tori with Old Man Mountain. Today I'm gonna to show you how to install a fit kit and a classic Sherpa rack frame on your mountain bike. First, let's go over the tools you'll need. Go ahead and open your fit kit box and pull out your one page of instructions. You'll need four millimeter and five millimeter hex wrenches, a 10 millimeter box end wrench, and a torque wrench with a four millimeter hex key. You'll use simple pliers and cable cutters or dikes for cutting the zip ties at the end. We'll start by installing your Robert Axle Project axle that came with your fit kit. Remove your stock through axle from the bike. Make sure the shaft lengths match. Using the supplied spacers, we're gonna remove these two, and it looks like we have a perfect match. Check that the thread pitches are the same by lining up the threads on both axles, making sure that they engage. Next, we're gonna apply some grease to the threads and shaft of the axle. Insert the axle into your bike, tightening by hand. Now grab a short five millimeter hex wrench. These are great because they don't give you enough leverage to go over the 10 newton meter spec. Put the five millimeter hex through the hole of the axle and tighten to the equivalent of 10 newton meters. Take the drive side axle end cap, apply a bit of grease to the threads, put the washer on, thread the end cap into the axle and hand tighten, making sure there are no gaps between the axle end and the bike frame. Tighten the axle end to the equivalent of six newton meters. Be sure to not over tighten. We're going to install the dropouts to the Sherpa rack frame. So take your Sherpa rack frame and place it upside down with the reflector hole facing away from you. Use the image on your instructions to determine dropout number one and dropout number two. Grab dropout number one. Notice the pannier hook and standoff. Place dropout number one on the outside of the left side of the rack frame. The pannier hook should face the reflector hole. Using hardware kit D, with the bolts facing inward towards the center of the rack frame, tighten dropout number one firmly. Repeat with dropout two, keeping the hardware slightly loose. Visually inspect the dropouts, making sure they are parallel. Make adjustments if needed and firmly tighten up dropout number two. Next, let's place the rack over the axle. You may have to flex the rack open to fit your bike. The axle ends will nest right into our dropouts. Then go ahead and rest the rack on the seat stays nice and gently. Making sure the rack is close to level, go ahead and grab your hardware from kit A. We're going to snug these up to hold the rack in place, but we'll do a full tighten of the rack and all the hardware at the end. Now we'll go ahead and install our extenders. Position the extenders with the slots facing the rack and the single hole facing the seat stay. Install the extenders to the inside of the rack frame using the hardware supplied with kit E. Using your four millimeter hex wrench and your box end wrench, go ahead and snug these up, but don't torque these down yet. Repeat this process on the other side with your other extender. For bikes without eyelets, we're gonna use our pucks and hardware kit F with the brass insert away from the extender and facing the tire. Now that we have located where the pucks are gonna sit on the seat stay, we can apply our clear protective tape. If you find that your extenders are not meeting up with your seat stay, this is where you might need to bend them slightly. Using the supplied zip ties, we're gonna attach the pucks to your seat stays. Go ahead and grab your pliers and pull the zip ties tight. Trim the excess off the zip ties. Now with the bicycle on the ground, we can see that the rack is not level. We're able to adjust it at the extender and racks very easily by just bumping it back and forward. Right about there looks level to me. Now we can put the bike back up in the stand and do our final torque of all the hardware. Next, grab your torque wrench with a four millimeter hex key, set it to three newton meters, and we're gonna tighten our M5 hardware, which is our pucks and our axle hardware. Then we're gonna send it to six newton meters and do our M6 hardware, which is our extender to rack and our dropout to rack hardware. You'll want your box in wrench to hold the backside nut while you're doing this. Now that we got this classic Sherpa rack mounted up on the mountain bike, it's time to get out and get lost. Just be sure to check your hardware before every ride. 